Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now you can probably tell by my more upbeat tone and the fact that my voice isn't quite as croaky that I am finally on the mend. I'm starting to feel better, which is wonderful. Uh, last episode it was just basically a lot of building, construction, messing around with internal stuff and waiting for the year 1479 to roll around. And uh, we finally did start converting a province. We did get enough missionary strength to work on that. It's right down here, and it's at 53.5% at the moment. And, wow, what is Lithuania doing? They've just got troops every... That's a lot of troops. I didn't think they'd be able to... They had a, a force limit that high. What do we have provincial unrest? Oh, the provincial unrest is high here because we're converting it right now. So what were we planning on doing? Okay, there is um, a war creeping up where we're, we're just waiting for truces to expire. Now I could either take... I think I'm going to take these guys by force. I don't want to have to wait a long time for a bunch of stuff to... Historical rival, I got a minus 25% there. Wants your provinces, minus 22%. I don't uh, ever think I'm going to be able to... Uh, what's it called? Um... Uh, uh, Diplo annex these guys. I'm gonna have to go to war, so that's what our tar the target of our next war is gonna be. It's these two provinces right here, and uh, this one's gonna be good because I believe that's got a estuary. Yes, Neiman River estuary. Excellent. So that will give us a good solid chunk of the Baltic coast. And let's take a look at the trade mode here. And that's uh, Poland. Oh, we have 28% of the total power in this uh, node now. We're creeping up on the. The highest one, which is Sweden. Now, Sweden's got a lot. Got a lot of coastline up here. So we're going to wait till 1479, and we're going to declare war on these guys. So let's make sure that we do have a Cossus Belli. Yes, I do. And that's all I'm going to need. I don't think it's going to allow me to fabricate a claim on their last province or their home province. Let's check. It has no possible neighboring province to fabricate a claim on. Okay, so it's not going to let me fabricate a claim on their home province, which is currently this guy right here. I was planning on doing a bunch of recording today to finally get ahead on everything, but I, I did about 25 minutes of Crusader Kings 2 and I realized my voice was starting to go. Okay, now that's not gonna happen. Let's just do just enough to keep the channel going and and I'll have to do, okay, uh, wait, the first army, supply limit of 30. Okay, we're good there. We're going to do just an episode of Crusader Kings 2, episode of Europa Universalis 4, so I can keep those series going without any interruptions. And I'll I'll have to wait till I'm, I'm you know, completely better to actually get ahead on things. I like to be one day ahead, just in case something creeps up. Like, I you know, end up going out with my wife and I don't have time to record, or, God forbid, again, I, you know, I get sick and, I, and I, I'm not able to, or... I get called into work or something like that. I want to make sure I like to have that just like one day buffer in there. So just in case something creeps up, I can still be like, okay, I got this one extra episode. I can I can pop up without missing a day, and uh, everything will be good. And I don't that 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 is that um that buffer is gone right now. These these are going out the day of recording because of uh, because of this sickness. Now it's kind of it's, it's kind of like a delicate balancing act. I like to be able to keep the the recordings really close together to when they're go you know really close to when they're going up that way when you guys leave comments like it's like I can implement your suggestions really quickly but then there's also that if, you know if I'm only recording for that day you know then when bad things happen I, I might miss a day and I don't really don't want to miss a day so that's why I keep one day ahead I don't know if you guys care about that but I just started ranting and I kept going all right let's take a look to see when this truce ends so diplomacy truce with Poland ends in October and let's see they have an they, they're allied with Sweden Scotland Teutonic Corner and oh interesting that could get ugly that could get really ugly they're allied with Sweden Sweden's allied with oh Novgorod I thought it was Muscovy okay Novgorod they're not too scary all right, I think I should be okay. All right, I think I should be okay. I thought I thought I was I thought it was these guys. No, it was just these little fractured this fractured area right there in Novgorod. All right, so we just gotta wait till October. You know what we should actually do is crank up the army maintenance. Weep, just like that. I miss having a huge uh, a much bigger income. 
but it's just something I gotta deal with. Because I've got that, uh, that level 2 advisor that's giving me some, some, some clout when it comes to converting these people. And I was actually talking last episode, I'm probably just gonna convert this one province and get rid of him. Although, I don't know, um, what is being orthodox costing me? The uh, goods produce is down, local tax modifier is down, and local unrest is really high. So, I mean, if I convert a couple of these provinces, maybe I should do that, just convert them, and then Ruthenian might have a, a solid chance of being an accepted culture. I like that. So, I think that, I think that would be worth it. Why don't we do that instead? Pardon the interruption, I had to go blow my nose. Still, still a little bit sick. I didn't, I didn't wake up with a raging 101 to 103 degree fever today, but I'm still a little on the, the ill side, so there might be an interruption here or there just for me to go, you know, blow my nose or something. So we still got a little bit of provincial unrest. Truces are about to expire. I'm not going to build because I need money for the war. I don't really care about the disputed succession right now. Now, I'm going to need a little bit of this admin power for coring, but I only plan on grabbing these two provinces, so that it's not going to be a lot. And oh my god, my head is so congested right now. feels like there's water in my ears. It's driving me bonkers. Okay, um, what is the what is it going to cost me? I think the next tech is actually really expensive. No, no, no. It used to be expensive, but then it used to be I, w I used to have a forty percent of head penalty, but it doesn't anymore. It's only seven thirty six, and I'm not going to use that. Probably not going to hit that right away. Austria declared war on their new enemy, uh, Wurttemberg. Wurttemberg. All right, no big deal there. Oh, and it's October, so we should be able to declare war now. Diplomacy, declare war. Breaking truce, minus five spilly. So I guess I gotta wait till the end of October. No big deal, just a couple more days. All right, so it's November. Diplomacy, declare war. Take this province. They're not going to be considered a co-belligerent to this war. All right, so let's declare it. Nice. Let's send my galleys out. See if we can intercept this navy. Let's send these guys up here. Yeah, we... Oh, fuck. Look at that navy. Now, did Sweden join in this? Yeah, they did. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not too worried about that. They have a huge navy. But their army is not great. Oh, they got some cannons, though. That's interesting. They got some artillery. No, let's just try to wipe out their army. And then we'll just siege down these two lands here. And that'll be that. Let me put this up a little higher. I don't see this war being too terribly difficult to prosecute. Oh, come on. Fight the <laughs> End the battle before they, co they join in. Yay. Oh, no. They caught me. Damn it. There go my galleys. Okay. Is this battle going to end? There's only a couple regiments. Just slap them aside. There you go. Idiots. Alright, come on. Now, do I have a leader here? I do. 3, 1, 2. Ah, I remember that guy. Yeah, he's pretty good. You have seriously no idea how... how how much this congestion is annoying me right now? Because every time I say a single word, I'm gonna this, you know, you know that weird pressure di pressure differential, you know, muffled noise in my ear. And it's driving me crazy. All right, so let's just drop those guys here and move those guys there, and that should be it. Now, am I gonna need? Damn it! I just thought of something. I'm, am I going to need a 100% ore score to take both these? Because that would mean... Oh, God. That would be awful. That would mean I'd have to take, like, you know, all this and then go fight Sweden. Oh, God. I just thought of that. That would make, mean... Uh, that would turn this extremely easy war into something ridiculously difficult. Oh, I really hope I don't have to do that.
Okay. Anything else for me to do? Not really. Let's just attach enough men to prosecute the siege and move off. Maybe move these guys up here. Alright, what do we got here? Nobles demand privileges. The privileges of the nobility have been under continuous assault uh, as attempt to centralize more and more control. The nobles have finally lost their patience and are demanding that they be given back what they believe is rightfully theirs. So we can lose 10 prestige or gain a little bit of unrest. Um, I guess we'll take prestige right now. Uh, Livonia has enter entered a military coalition. Okay. Not too worried about that. I'm going to actually send these guys up into the in order to take out these guys. I can get more prestige by winning battles. Cardinal Minister. One of the cardinals in Poland has proven to be a skillful administrator and already proves useful advice to the king. Uh, provides. Uh, at this point, making him a minister in our government would almost be only a formality, but an important formality nonetheless, since he may grow more powerful yet. Having a cardinal in our service would certainly... Uh, God damn it. Sorry, I cannot read between my eyes watering and my nose and my freaking ears. All right, let's just go down. I get Carnal in the administration. Ooh, that would give me missionary strength. Or a little bit more prestige. Missionary strength. Where did their army go? I don't even know. Can I get over there right now? Oh, shit, look at that. Swedish, uh... Army. Let's let our allies take care of them. Remember, I got out of Dodge just in time. That would have been an uh, even battle in terms of troop count. Alright, they're coming down this way. This army should probably go after that one. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, you idiots. Come help me. We'll cross a river if I do that. If I manage to convert the hair to... Wow, that went quickly. That plus... That extra 1% went really fast. So that was this one right there. Now they're Catholic. Now they're pro pro providing taxes and production and whatnot so let's see if we wanted to convert them take 47 months let's do it let's keep that going wow that siege ended we got lucky there all right well let's uh, go grab this one uh the livonians or lithuanians not livonians completely huge difference there uh actually maybe i don't know i kind of want to wait and see what happens here because it's going kind of even if we're looking at morale. Alright. They're starting to lose troops, though. Oh, yeah. Let's just head over here. Yeah, I, I, I thought it would be really easy to win this war, but it's actually going to be very difficult. Alright. Oh, we actually have uh, 400 military power now. So let's, let's go to ideas. And this one right here. National manpower modifier plus 25%. Nice. Oh, and that actually got us uh, this one right here, our first Polish idea, which gives a production efficiency of 10%. It just means more money for me. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I could grab this if I want. It's gonna, That would give me my next idea group. So why don't we actually do that right now? Because this war, I feel like, is going to last for a while, so I think it'll give me enough time to build up enough admin power to get the, the coring cost. All right, so let's actually pause this real quick. What's the next thing? Workhouse, workshop, and courthouse. So that's, ooh, local unrest. That's nice. And goods produced 20%. Nice. So now we can pick another free slot, or another idea group. Now, uh, look, in the comments section, we are bouncing between religious ideas and humanism. So this would give us religious unity, national unrest of minus two, tolerance of heretics, years of nationalism, Accepted cultural threshold of minus 50%. That's pretty damn good. Better relations over time. And tolerance of heathens plus three. 
So it looks like this one will allow me to like force people to convert easier. And give me this is this is one this one seems a little bit more aggressive, and this one is more of a passive thing. I really like this accepted culture threshold of minus fifty percent, and that national religious unity and national that that would be a big boost for me. Yeah. Huh. Which one do I want? Which one? Missionary strength versus heretics. I kind of like... You know, this, um... Where, where was it? Accepted culture threshold of minus 50% is nice. But I kind of want the missionary strength. I, I, I... I, I, I kind of I have this vision in my head of like you know this like storming military conquest and not this like nice touchy feely empire. So I'm thinking of just sticking with religious ideas like I initially thought. I mean it definitely this is definitely a good one. This is, seems a little more passive. Um, this is a little more you know aggressive, and this kind of suits the way I I I, I feel this game should be going right now. So I'm gonna go with religious ideas. Nice. So now we have another option here. And when we get 400 admin power, we start dropping them into here. And no. How, how far up is it until I get what I want? It's four in until I get what I really want. All right, so it's got to be a little while. So let's unpause this and continue the war. They've lost most of their troops already. So now we're just going to siege the crap out of them. And... I want to leave everyone here, so let's move them. Let's let's move up into Lavonia. While they don't have it blockaded, might as well try to grab this island here. If I can get up there before they blockade it. Ah, uh, yeah, they just blockaded it. Damn it. Oh well. Not really much I could do about that. I can't build a navy big enough to. Uh, fight the Swedish Navy. Alright, that finally kicked in. The extra 25%. It's up to near 30 and a half thousand. Now, Muscovoy, I'm not at war with them. No, I'm, it's just these guys, these guys, and Sweden. I was... Ah, Sweden might put a big damper in things. I might be able to... I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a 100% war score while I'm fighting Sweden. Any idea how difficult that would be? Down there. Down. Down. Why, why can I not move into that province? Oh, I don't have... Do we? I don't have uh, military access there. All right, they caught him. Okay, good. Let's well, let's move up here and siege on this place. Maybe we'll be able to grab some of Livonian order land though. Grab some more of this up here. It'll, it looks like I might be able to get away with just this province. So let's drop them there, and we'll move my army here and just have, sit, have them sit there and wait. No point in having my entire army. Are you serious? Oh, he's retreating. It's a retreating army, that's why. Struggle without, struggle within. Sometimes we see conflicts... Let's actually pause this while I'm reading. Sometimes we see conflicts on the international stage mirrored within our own borders. Today we received news that our war with the Orthodox has brought about a religious conflict in Bells, where the Orthodox and Catholic faiths exist side by side. People who used to, used to be neighbors and friends are attacking each other over what they perceive as difference between us and our adversaries. See. I like the war. This conflict must take its course. Lose 4,000 manpower. 75% chance Bells will change to Catholic. 25% chance no effect. That's right there. Unite again. Okay, that I'm actually willing to take that. Fine. Yes! Oh, that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. I barely had to work on converting them. Still no tax coming from here, but we can work on that. That can I can immediately move someone else 
to Ruthenia. Got really powerful missionaries right now. That was worth it. I'm not really losing this war, so the man, uh, the, the, the manpower isn't a big hit. And we're just gonna siege down everything. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode right here. A little bit shorter than, than normal, I know, but I've been trying to keep these a little bit truncated because I do need to save my voice a little bit for work and for other recordings and such. So everyone, if you've enjoyed this, just drop me a like, leave me a comment right down below, and if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.